All right, I'm going to show you how to create a standard normal table uh, in OpenOffice Calc. Calc is uh, similar to Excel. It's a spreadsheet, but it's in OpenOffice. Uh, standard normal table finds the area under the standard normal curve to the left of a Z value. All right, so we want to come over here and open up OpenOffice Calc. Now, over here in cell A1, let's type in Z for the Z score, and let's start with our numbers. We're going to start with 0, and we want to go up in increments of tenths. So 0 0.1, 0 0.2, okay, and instead of typing in 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, and so on, we can highlight the point 0.1 and point 0.2. Now this little square here at the bottom right corner of the cell we can left click on it and drag it down and you can see how the numbers are increasing. Alright and we're gonna let's just go down to 3.6 for this tutorial. Okay. And we will drop it there. Now, let's format this to where all the numbers are showing one decimal place. Notice here the 3, it doesn't have a decimal. Let's change that to 3.01 and 2 to 2.01 and so on. So let's highlight 0 and drag all the way down to 3.6 and right click and go to Format Cells and numbers highlighted. We want to change the format of the number. Let's go down to decimal places and change that to a 1 and hit OK. So now all the numbers look the same. Now let's go up here to, to B1 and let's type in 0 and let's, in, let's make these increase in hundreds. Point zero one. 0 0.02 and once again we can highlight these grab the little dark square the bottom right corner and drag until we get to point zero 0.09 and let go alright now all of these are the two decimal places but let's make this zero two decimal places so it'll be consistent with this with the rest of the numbers we right click Format cells, numbers highlighted again, and let's change the decimal places to 2 and hit OK. Alright, now let's go ahead and put our formula in. So to put our formula in, we want to hit the function wizard. So we hit left click it. Now Let's go to the category and go to statistical and scroll down to norm S distribution. This is the values of the standard normal cumulative distribution. And let's hit next. All right. So we need to type in a number. But what we're going to do is we're going to use a formula so we don't have to type all the numbers in. And the formula we're going to use is A1 I'm sorry, A2 plus B1. Now, we need to make column A an absolute reference and over here row 1 an absolute reference and then the row 2 will be a relative and column B will be relative now let's go down here and hit OK and it puts the value of 0.5 now let's let's explain a little bit about absolute reference Okay, we put the dollar sign here. 
what this does is if we right click and copy this formula okay and then we click in this cell and hit paste okay now if we look at this formula here you can see this formula we have a2 plus b1 and in this one we have a2 plus c1 notice that column a stayed the same in, in these two cells they're both column a that's because it's an absolute reference that we didn't want it to change because we want to continue to use this number to add to this one this number to add to the one in C1 0 to add to D1 and so on now in this one notice here we have the B but when we come over here to column C it changed to a C that's because we didn't make it an absolute reference so as it moves to the right it's going to increase the column alright so let's delete that now let's go ahead and right click copy and then click left click in C2 hold it down and drag all the way across right click and hit paste okay so now you can see we have A2 plus F1 A2 plus E1 A2 plus D1 now we need to copy these down to fill out the rest of the table so we left click in B2 hold it down and drag all the way to the end right click on the dark area and hit copy then we come over here to B3 left click drag it all the way down to column K and down to where 3.6 is which would be row 38 and then we right click and hit paste okay and this fills the table out for us now notice that in cell B2 we have A2 plus B1 and if we go down a cell we have A3 plus B1 A4 plus B1 notice the row with A is changing as we go down but the row with B is staying the same that's because we made it a absolute reference we put the dollar sign so it's not going to change alright now what we're going to need to do is format and you can see the second part of this video I will explain the formatting